Hello and welcome to the next session of interview preparatory course on top 50 SQL interview questions. Hope you are excited to solve another SQL question. So let's get started. In this session, we will try to establish the difference between union and union all operator. Before that, we need to know what is union in DBMS. So this union clause is used to combine the result set of two or more select queries. That means simply it combines the values of columns from each query. Now let's see a simple example. In this example, we will apply the union operation only on a single column. That is a select statement will have only a single column. For example, here we are having a table called sample 1. It contains two columns, city and country. Both of them are having a character data type and three values each. So total we have three rows. The similar way we are having a sample 2 table which also involves city and country and four values. I want to combine city column of sample 1 table with the city column of sample 2 table. Remember column name need not be the same. It can have uh, same column name or it can have different column name in different tables. Select I want to combine city of both the columns. Select star from sample 1 union select city from sample 2. Now the city column from sample 1 is combined with city column of sample 2 then the values thus obtained are free from duplicate values. So how it works, we'll see. Our output is Hyderabad, London, Texas, California. See, the Hyderabad value is present in both the columns. See, both the city columns of uh, sample 1 and sample 2. In sample 1, it occurred for it occurred for twice and in sample 2, it occurred for once. But while combining, it will display only for one time. That is, duplicate values are eliminated from both the result sets. And then the data is combined. See the columns that are used in the selected statement must have same number of columns, similar or compatible data types and in the same logical order. So what does this mean? See here I am trying to select city from sample 1 union, select city from sample 2. See the, the data types of both the columns must be same. See the data types of both the columns is character here. So we cannot take different data types in both the select queries and also we should have same number of columns in both the select queries so in the first select query if I am having two columns then in the next select query I cannot have one column so there must be same number of columns present in all the select queries involved in the union class now we are applying more than one column in the select query that is we are using two columns in the select query and then we are comparing whenever we are using more than one column in the select query that is the combination of columns is considered that is in that particular row all the values of that row are same then only it is considered as a duplicate value otherwise it is not considered as a duplicate value we are having Hyderabad India here this combination of this Hyderabad India is considered as one value and in the next row if I am having Hyderabad Pakistan then it is not considered as a duplicate value and it is considered as a unique value and then displayed that means all the values of that row must be same then only it is eliminated otherwise it will be a unique value so he now here our output should be Hyderabad India Bhutan Timpu London Texas Texas USA California USA see here USA USA we are having same value but both are considered as unique because one value is being different here so if it, if it is Texas USA again then it will be eliminated but it is if, if there is change in at least one value of that entire row it is considered as a unique value itself now I'm applying union between these two see we have got four rows see you can apply any number of columns but only thing is that it should have same number of columns same data type and same logical sequence that means the first column should have same data type and the corresponding column should also have the same data type exactly the opposite column towards it should have the same data type next one is union on class see in the union whenever we are using union duplicates are eliminated while combining but in whenever we are using union all duplicates are not eliminated all the duplicates will also be displayed as how many times you are present in syntax and everything is same select city from sample 1 union select city from sample 2 what happens if we use union only unique values are displayed if you use union all here all duplicates will also be displayed see Hyderabad occurred uh, three times in both the tables together hence three times it will occur when we use union all class that's it with this we have come to the end of the discussion if you have enjoyed the session and it is really helpful to you don't forget to like the video also do share your questions with us in the comment section let's solve them together and help other geeks as well thanks for watching